Ku plunk, ku plunk. Ah, too much, too much. Hi guys, today I'm gonna show you something special. It's this Lego Technic EV3 Rubik's Cube Solver. The Rubik's Cube Solver's name is Minecuber, and it can solve an official colored Rubik's Cube. As you can see, here's the EV3's eye that senses if the Rubik's Cube is there. Here's the EV3 color sensor who sends the colors on the Rubik's Cube to calculate a formula. And here's the Rubik's Cube's platform, and it rotates. And here's the flipping arm that grabs and flips the cube. And here is the EV3's brain brick. Mind Cube has three motors, one for the flipping arm, one to rotate the platform, and one for the color sensor. It stands on four wheels, and it uses most of the EV3 set's parts. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how it works. Let's turn EV3 on. So first, I got to activate the MC3 solver. And then, I go over to play and click Minecuber. Now it's resetting everything. There. And now it says insert cube. And you can set the pattern for solve or pattern or mixing. So right now the pattern is solve. So I'm going to mix up the cube. So when I put it in the platform, it's going to scan the cube and then try to calculate an algorithm to solve it. Right now it's scanning all the sides. Now it's solving it. You can see it uses 25 moves on this round. Mine Cube is pretty fast at solving Rubik's Cubes. But not as fast as the human world record. There's 19 out of 25 moves done. There, it solved the Rubik's Cube. Mind Cube can only solve Rubik's Cubes with the official Rubik's Cube colors. Now I have this neon cube here and it's going to have trouble scanning it, so watch. As you can see, the colors are too neon for it to scan. In the program, it's set to see these colors, the darker colors. He's trying to scan it again. This normally only goes through one or two rounds of scanning. So that was a failed scan process. Minecuber and the program were designed by David Gilday, and he designs a lot of NXT and EV3 and Mindstorm stuff too. Also, you can visit the Minecube website. It says on here, minecuber.com. Now let's try for one more round of solving the cube. Let's insert the cube.
So this round again took 25 moves. Sometimes it takes a little more, a little less moves, like 26 or 24, 23 or 22. But it depends on how mixed up the cube is. Got a corner done. There it is, your solved cube. And that round it took 96.4 seconds and it did 25 moves. Alright, now for some fun facts. So the first fun fact is that I noticed that Minecuber doesn't solve the Rubik's Cube in layers. It solves the Rubik's Cube in corners. So it does a corner, a 2x2 two two corner, and then it does the rest. Another fun fact is that Minecuber creates its own algorithm when it scans it. But some LEGO Rubik's Cube solvers, they are programmed to just have the exact moves. So I thought that was pretty cool since it thinks of its own way to do it instead of being programmed to a specific algorithm. And, and also, when it's solving Rubik's Cubes, don't put it in light or else the color sensor might get saturated. As it said on the Minecuber site, it won't be able to see well. If you want to build Minecuber, all you have to do is go to Minecuber.com and download the instructions. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe for more videos or visit my website at legochess.com.